my lovers aries nation and their lovers my name is made for love and welcome to your august 2020 astrological sign update now remember when you're watching these readings for love you're not just going to watch your sun sign you're going to watch your sun moon venus and your rising sign and then you're going to watch your person's placement in these areas because when it comes to soul and energetic connections the energies can be flipped and then you're going to use your discernment and if you see a thumbnail that calls to you a title it means there's a message somewhere there um, for you. So you just take it, whatever resonates, whatever doesn't, um, you just leave it be. Okay, but once you're here, there, there is a message for you. Remember, you're not watching these things to find out what to do or what's happening. It's just a confirmation of what you intuitively know already. Okay? All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to start by getting a multidimensional look at your person. So I'm going to get messages from your person's higher self. And this is my de divine counterpart in separation. So let, let's get a significator. All right. So we have somebody here who's dead inside. Okay. Um, now, 57 does reduce um, to 12. So we are talking about someone um, who is getting enlightenment as to why they have been feeling um, so apathetic, so dead inside um so empty and it looks they might have looks like they might have been like that um, for a long time so right now they're looking at their own inner demons this hood that this person has on here is reminding me of love like you know like the grim ripper kind of crap so they're facing their own inner demons now and they're trying to figure out you know or they're getting enlightenment so it's been illuminated why they've been feeling dead inside um for so long let's get a 3d message from your person so we're gonna pull cards in all of these but that's just what i'm getting thus far now this person could be with a third party because 12 um reduced to three they also get a different a different perspective on you because three is also the empress which is you we have here i don't feel that you are as invested in this relationship as i am i struggle to trust and i need you to show me that you are serious about us so this person thinks that their love is unrequited i don't know if you drew some kind of particular boundary with this person or maybe um you've kind of pulled back your energy and this person feels it but they just feel like they're they're holding this bag of love um by themselves and you you're just out there playing the field and playing them but I'm getting that this is a projection, okay? This is how um, this person feels um, inadequate. They don't feel like um, anybody could possibly love them. So um, this is just their own wounding that's coming up. There's someone who has a lot of insecurities here. Now I'm going to get another card from this Twin Flame Soulmate High Level Wisdom Oracle card deck. And it's actually made by one of our sisters, Renee. So if you're interested in purchasing this deck, and it is an amazing deck with her own original artwork. Um, you can check out my description box below. Um, but let's have a look. And um, we have here coming home. So this person kind of knows where their true north is now. It looks like you guys are in some sort of separation. This person could be in dark night. Because from the time you see a lot of depression um, and it's paired with enlightenment, that's, that sounds like dark night vibes to me. Okay, so this person's coming home. Um, it says, though near or far, you know them and their energy feels like home. No matter where you two are in the world, you are connected. There's an electricity in coming together. Spirit is asking, is your spiritual house in order? And it's a card number seven, so this is, this is the chariot. So it looks like there's going to be some kind of divine intervention here and some kind of movement forward um, in this connection. Somebody's coming home. and I think they're coming home first to themselves, trying to figure out, who they are and then it looks like they're, they're going to be coming home um to you so let's pull some cards on these and let's get the messages so spirit why did you give us dead inside what's what is that all about let's get about three cards all right <laughs> okay I, and it's about two of cups the intensity of this connection has pushed this person to face all their fears all the insecurities and it looks like they have many quite frankly all their fears all the insecurities concerning love 
um, and connection and it looks like they think that they've lost you and and it is this grief that's um forcing them um to face themselves and to face um their unhappiness and to make some kind of decision in love here look we have the lovers in reverse so gemini coming out strongly here we have four of wands they're realizing you know this is some kind of twin flame shit this is some kind of soulmate shit that's happening here okay and they want to bring you this kind of commitment okay so they are facing their inner demons they're facing their fears and it is the intensity of what they're feeling what's blossoming here um in their heart that's allowing them to really have the courage to face self they feel they feel that you've moved on they feel like you know what like maybe you got fed up of waiting or whatever they think that you've moved on aries look um they're not feeling your fire ace of wands in reverse they're not feeling that connection. They think you've caught this cord here. Okay. Um, and they're feeling very defensive right now. And that's because they're feeling quite vulnerable. Now, this person's still holding on to you. But they feel like, they're, as I said, they're holding this bag of love alone. Right? They're confused as to what's happening right now. They think you're out there exploring your options, Aries. That's what they think you're doing. But they now realize where home is, where their true north is. Let's get three cards. Yeah, look, transformation here. Scorpio coming out. Look, transformation. So this is what's driving this transformation, this sense of loss. I think when you were, you know, you never miss the water till the well runs dry. And that's exactly what happened. So now they're realizing, listen, I had total wish fulfillment in my hand. I had everything that I could ever hope for in my hand. And I just let it slip through. Um, my fingers because I was being stubborn okay yeah I was being stubborn I held back my feelings held back my love but now they want to step into that place of courage and go after what they want so they're here look Mr. King of Wands and Leo so two Leos so strength card coming through um, really strongly here Leo pride um, they want to take action here because they're realizing if they don't um, they're going to lose you permanently and they think they've already lost you um, in a kind of temporary kind of sense. All right, let's look at their emotional body. And this is important because not everybody's going to be able to join me in the extended. And this is going to give us an idea of what's happening in their life right now. Let's have a look. We'll get three cards. We have embarrassed. So there's this big sense of shame and regret that they feel because and they were messing around with you. Okay. I don't think they were taking they were taking you seriously. Um, but now they realize they trust you. You are the one of the only persons um, that they trust. I think you guys can probably watch a Scorpio reading. I think that was a big issue that came out. I think it was Scorpio. Yeah. I think it was Scorpio. And they have self-defeated. So all the insecurities are coming to the fore. You've triggered that. What, whatever happened between you guys, whatever boundary um, you placed in this relationship, um, it's triggering um, this facing of their inner demons here. They feel embarrassed. I think that's, that's a lot of regret. Yeah, I think they're seeing everything clearly now. They want to talk to you and they're realizing in the past, this person wasn't listening to their intuition. I think their intuition was blocked by fear. Fear and apathy. Okay. Um, I think they're also embarrassed. If they were doing any kind of sneaky behavior, any kind of sneaky shit, lying, wearing a mask, um, they're just embarrassed. They feel really kind of foolish now because they're realizing the only person they hurt, well, well, not the only person, whilst they were trying to keep their distance from you, um, they were just hurting themselves. So they're realizing that now. Let's see. Trusting. They trust you. Look at you here. Queen of Pentacles. You got your shit together. You are nurturing. You are brunt, You are abundant. You are grounding. You are sitting pretty. You can turn anything to gold. They see that. 
okay they see your courage and they're really trusting you and they you see half of this person's um problem is that you are so independent you're so independent here you're nine of pentacles loving yourself and they want to come back and make this apology now you're coming out as a queen and they are a page they feel absolutely inadequate um in your presence and these are the thoughts that are going through their head these self-defeated thoughts that they aren't good enough they don't have much to offer you okay and that's why they're not putting in the effort um if they can't give you what you deserve they're not going to put the effort at all okay for some of them there is a karmic in their life okay and they're no longer confused about what they need to do with this karmic they know they need to stop giving their time money and energy into the situation because it's heavily codependent we have the ace of cups in reverse and we also have the ace of wands in reverse there's no passion here there's no love here okay all right so let's have a look at their headspace regarding you now i want to thank need to for donating this deck and i've been using it for all the astrological readings um, this month it's the romantic tarot beautiful deep deck and i absolutely love it underneath the deck we have the three of cups in reverse so um it's it's, it's sadness and grief that's causing them to do um this review and that's been coming out in nearly all the readings, quite frankly. That's why I feel safe in letting people know. Um, you just be, you have to be flexible and really listen to your intuition because there are messages everywhere. You don't have to um, be rigid and just stick to your sun sign. You know, you have to, you, it's really about going with the flow. Okay? So let's have a look. When they think about you and this connection, where's their mental energy? All right, we have justice in reverse. All right, Libra. Um, we have... What's this? The Hermit in reverse. And we also have the Ace of Cups in reverse. So they think about how they throw away love. Okay? It looks like they went in another direction. Went into something toxic and codependent here because... Oh, I've never gotten this with the Hermit. With the Hermit card reverse. Because they were afraid of being alone. Okay? So it looks like they, they screwed you over because we have this injustice here. And they keep thinking about the ways that they screwed you over. Look look at here. Right, this justice in reverse. So they're thinking about how they screwed you over um, just because they were afraid of being alone. They were afraid of being abandoned by you. Um, so they went into something that was codependent and toxic because this is safe. They know this person, whoever it is or the situation. Um, they can't get hurt in this, right? Because one... It doesn't require the emotional investment that you wanted, that you demanded of them. And two, this person is just as codependent as they are. They're not going to leave them. So for them, this was a safer bet. Okay? So let's clarify these. Let's see what's this injustice. Is this a karmic? What is this? Yeah, it looks like um, they have some kind of karmic energy in their life that they refuse to um, walk away from. Um, it could be codependency, it could be um, some smothering mother figure, whatever it is. Um, but right now, they're standing in their power as a magician. And the magician has all the tools in his toolbox to manifest a new beginning. And that's what your person's doing. Now, the magician is the vibration of Gemini um, and Virgo. And that's about communication. So there could be communication coming forward to you. But I'm also getting this about communicating um, their desires, their feelings to those around them and really um, standing in their sovereignty and their power. Let's see the submit in reverse. That's usually about taking action. and Exactly. And the action that they want to take is one, first heal themselves and two, heal and mend this connection with you. Right? That's, that's all they want because they're realizing you're, you're a star. You're their star. You're total wish fulfillment. And they've abs been absolutely unhappy. Um, without you in their life so they're no longer confused as to what they need to know they know they have to come forward um with the truth they know they have to tell their truth they know they have to speak their truth they have to live their truth be authentic and set healthy boundaries with the people in their life and there's some kind of very dominating energy in their life here look the emperor in reverse this could be um family members friends could be parents some kind of um smothering parent here 
you know, some, uh, uh, what do you call a hoover parent, right? A helicopter parent, right? One of those. Let's see this Ace of Cups in reverse. Yeah, um, they're releasing this codependent energy and they're standing in their power. They're asserting their sovereignty. This is, this is a real message that I'm getting. Asserting their sovereignty. Um, what's blocking this connection right now? What's blocking the connection? We have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So this person is definitely in some sort of karmic cycle here. Maybe with a karmic partner, it could be... Or it could be um, they're down on their luck, some kind of misfortune, especially with finances. And this is reinforcing all their beliefs about not being good enough. Okay, I'm going to pull cards on that still and see what that means. But this is, could be definitely karma. Um, we have the Ace of Wands. What's blocking this connection? Um, it could be that this person uh, may have written off this connection as one that was purely sexual. Um, it's taken a little while for them to realize that it's a little bit more than this. Um, I'm also sensing here perhaps a, a sex addiction as well. It could be that this person um, uses sex as some kind of buffer um, so that they don't have to um, acknowledge their emotions. Um, and that could be blocking the connection. <clears throat> What's blocking the connection? Um, we have here judgment in reverse. Somebody's judgment is awful. Somebody's being kind of judgmental. Let me pull some cards and find out what it means. All right, so let's have a look. Right, so we have anxiety and fear here. Okay, it could be depression as well. Your person thinks um, that everything is going downhill in their life. They think they're getting, they have the worst stroke of bad luck ever. Okay, and they're really anxious. I think this person uh, might have been a player. Being in and out of your life, inconsistent, um, exploring the options, and they screw themselves over. So they're here in moment mode. I think they may have withdrawn from this connection um, temporarily to really reflect on the havoc that they've wrecked in their, their own life. Okay, and taking that time out to do the self-reflection is what's pushing them into acknowledging the truth of who they are and what they feel um, for you. So coming out strongly here, we have Sagittarius, we have Virgo, and we have Aquarius. Let's see the Ace of Wands here. We have the Nine of Pentacles. All right. So someone, it looks like. Um, sometimes we're so accustomed to being or navigating the world alone that we assert our independence in weird sort of ways. In ways that are self-sabotaging. I, I do that. I do that. I can tell you about that. In ways that are self-sabotaging. Okay. Um, and one of the ways that we may do that, as I said before, um, to make sure that we don't feel engulfed or lost in a relationship is use different buffers, barriers, to make sure that person doesn't get too close. To make sure that we don't feel too enmeshed. To make sure that we always maintain um, our sovereignty and identity. And it looks like one of the things that your person used was sex. And they just didn't want to be... There's a, this person has a fear of intimacy, one. But also... Um, losing themselves in a relationship... Losing themselves in a relationship, losing their identity. And that's why this asserted so forcefully in so many destructive ways. 
they're afraid of engulfment enmeshment with somebody else because if they get that close if that person walks away then who are they really can they survive that kind of oh, but it's abandonment isn't it it's abandonment so this person, person prefers to keep their distance and they, they have their own little tactics for doing that. Some people ghost and disappear and come back. Some people use sex. Whatever it is, there's always some kind of buffer there. Let's see the judgment in reverse. Yeah, I think they misjudged um, this karmic energy in their life. This could be, could be a mother, could be an intimate partner. But this is distorted feminine energy. And this floated feminine energy, it's codependent, it's clingy, it's manipulative, um, it's sexually abusive, emotionally abusive, okay? Um, it looks like they misjudged this person, or this person is still trying to manipulate them. Um, and this is what's blocking the connection at this time. Now, if this sounds like a person, join me next time. What I'm going to do there, I'm going to look at some, um, I'm going to look at what's happening in their life. What's giving us these energies that we're seeing coming out here? I'm going to get some messages. Um, sorry, I'm going to look at their heart space energy. I'm going to look at what they're hiding from you. I'm going to get some messages from their 3D self, their 5D self, um, potential actions towards you by the end of the month, and then I'll get you an advice card from Spirit, okay? Okay, Aries, thank you so much. Um, so much for your support, love, kindness your comments, shares. I really do appreciate it. Take care. Bye.